Hi, my name is Tim Williams. I am 20 years old and I do gymnastics. Okay, I went to school, primary school at Diamondville Government Primary School, um, secondary school at um, St. Joseph's Convent, Port of Spain. I did gymnastics for 14, I've been doing gymnastics for 14 years of my life. I started when I was six years old. I have trained in Trinidad and Tobago for 12 years of my life and in 2014, I moved to Michigan to train with John Geddes at Twisters, at Geddes Twisters USA. How did I get interested in gymnastics? Uh, my sister actually did gymnastics for a while before me and she would come home and she would teach me everything. And then my mother started getting scared that I would get hurt at home, so she sent me to the gym. I think it's just one step at a time, one day at a time. Most, most days, I mean, training for the Olympics was something that was very, very difficult. It takes a lot, a lot of sacrifice. Uh, family time you know um, it was definitely a big financial commitment too for my family but the government also sponsored some of the um, the, uh, the rent and all those things that I would have to pay for um, so I would like to thank them as well um, but mostly I think it's just a lot of sacrifice in terms of time you have to be willing to put the time in at the gym the hours in there was one point in time when I was doing 32 hours a week I would come in in the morning I would train for three hours and then I would come back in the evening from for four and a half hours um it's just a big commitment and you have to be willing to put in the work and be willing to sacrifice which i'd say we're definitely rich in love rich in um togetherness um we're not financially very rich but i mean i always had everything that i needed and i think that's important um my parents my everybody in my family i think they do a very good job at maintaining i mean we live <laughs> very happy lives all of us my family Anything that I want to do, my family will always support me. Um, as long as I have a plan and a vision, they will always support me. Tima is, <laughs> Tima is an artist. Tima is creative. Um, Tima is, of course, a gymnast and athlete. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> I enjoy putting time into my art. And for me, it's mostly about how I feel and emotions and those sorts of things that I put into my art. Um, I really, really enjoy doing black and white pieces because I enjoy contrast and yeah. In terms of gymnastics, I mean, that one was easy. Worlds 2015, that was the best time for me because you finally see my hard work paying off and for me to finally be able to see that and grasp it, you know, it was nice. Um, probably the worst time was leading up to the situation, you know. It was very mentally challenging and emotionally challenging. I mean, still dealing with it today is still something that is mentally and emotionally challenging. And um, but everything happens for a reason. So um, wild, extremely, extremely wild. Um, they would call me wild at the gym. Like I was just I, everything at the gym. I I want to try. I want to do it. I was fearless. Um, always, always wanted to try. I remember when my mom had. Um, she would do karate. It was like two streets across. Sometimes she'd come late for us, um, so I would stay back at the gym and I would watch the bigger girls and anything they, could, they would do, I would be like, I could do that. And the coach would be like, <laughs> the coach would be like, go do it and I would actually do it. I mean, the form was terrible, but they would always work on that after, but I would, I would go and do it. I live with my mom. They got divorced when I was younger, but my dad is still very much in the picture. I mean, he's right here behind you. Um, he drops me to school every day, every single day. Um, he was very in the picture, you know, very involved as usual. They just couldn't, I mean, the two parents couldn't do it, so. My dad's name is Leon Williams. Um, he actually lives right down the street from me. <laughs> um, he's really fun. He likes to take us on adventures, long drives. Um, he always makes an effort to include us in everything that he's doing. He always sends us pictures from where he goes because he travels to the end of Trinidad and back all the time. He always sends us pictures. He's very, very involved. Um, when I went to get a twist out for the first time in Michigan, I remember I went in and I was, I was very weak on routines. Um, that was always my weak point, I would say the routines. I could always do skills, but the put together was a little bit difficult for me. Um, so when I first went in, I went into a camp and I was one of the best at the camp. And then when we had to get into routines, things started to crumble a little bit and I believe that I kind of fell to the bottom of the, the ladder. But I remember building myself up and I remember bars was always my hardest event and I think by the end of about two, three months there I was the best on bars. At the show was one of the best on bars and I felt good about that. Definitely a breakthrough. I'm very, very expressive. That's a part of my art. I love to express myself. Um, 
I enjoy scoring the internet for quotes. I'm that kind of person. I'm really into quotes and I love finding new ways to do things. I'm very innovative. Um, that's just me. I just wanted to give as much as I could have to my dream, just to be sure that when I got there, I knew I would give, I had given everything that I can, I would have given the performance of my life. That was my goal. Um, I think now I've been trying to make more time for things that I would have missed out on, but not necessarily in excess because they'll always be there at the end of the day. Um, in terms of love and relationships, I am in fact in a relationship and yeah, it's just different for me. I've never really, I've never been in a relationship before because I never really had the time for that between school and gymnastics, but it feels good now and um, I think it happened at the perfect time. Most at peace when I'm doing art for sure, I feel most at peace. Most at home, definitely when I'm right here in Trinidad. I love, I love the culture of Trinidad. I love being around my people. From the time I get to Trinidad, I just love the feeling of being here. I just think I have to separate myself from it. I have to understand that what I think of myself is more important than what people may think of me, you know? And as an individual dealing with such a situation, um, I always had my family for support. I always had people I could look to and turn to for support. So in those critical times, I always turn to them. Uh, yeah, I just want to thank everybody for the support throughout my struggles. And I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of you. And um, thank you for the love. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thank you for interviewing me.